Hello everyone. In the uh, last uh, video, we uh, we stopped where uh, at a place where our floor plan was ready, and uh, we were uh, we were almost uh, entering into the physical and routing uh, step. So the first step, uh, uh, first step maybe I'll introduce you to the first step that is uh, bind the netlist with physical cells. So what what does this exactly means is we have to take each and every block or each and every logic gate in the in in the design and give it a physical shape and size. Because uh, now it's no more an RTL netlist. It's a it's a physical. It's all it's all uh, 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 going to be fabricated on a chip. So on a chip, you will have got you you, you will be having some uh, uh, you will have you will be having uh, some uh, width and height and depth of that particular logic block. So this is what we are going to do over here. For example, let's take the example of the flip flop. The flip flop one has been taken out of the uh, netlist. I mean, in a in a, in a virtual manner, it will be taken out of the netlist and given a physical uh, physical. Uh, uh, dimension like it will have a width and height similarly the uh, the uh, the inverter that is sitting in the center that will be also taken out and it will be given a shape so you observe the difference in the shape between the inverter which was there in the netlist and the and the inverter which we will be using in a physical design flow so this is what i'm binding it i'm taking the cells from the from the netlist and uh, giving it a physical uh, shape and size similarly the same thing i'm also doing with the uh, uh, i also did with the and gate similar thing we'll do with the flop the the ff2 and uh, and uh, the block a and block b already have got the physical uh, dimensions because it's an ip for you so it will be available as a, as a it, it will be available to you as a as a logic cell uh, as a logic cell with a, with a specific width and height so uh, let's uh, let's uh, take care of the of the remaining things so we have the other logics we will also take them out of the netlist and give them a, a physical uh, dimension similarly the the blue logic over here which is sitting over here that will be also taken out and the green logic so in this case now the complete circuit complete circuit has been binded with the physical cells so this is a set this is a set which is which is which we call it as library oh, okay let's uh, let's take out the block a and block b and block c also so now this particular thing is a, 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 a is 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 a, is what we call as library um, uh, let's let's look into it uh, let's remove the wires from here we'll talk about wires in in the in a later videos uh, let's remove them from the uh, scene let's talk only about this so a library has got a uh, uh, has got all particular uh, combinations or, or all particular flops defined with a physical uh, with a physical uh, uh, width and height of the of the cell not only the library consists only a single width and height of the cell but it consists multiple widths and heights for example this this uh, flip flop much be, uh, is of a greater drive strength compared to uh, flip flop one so the words drive strength and all those are uh, those are timing related words and uh, i will be introducing it in a section where we will be uh, talking about uh, uh, static timing analysis and all those things so there i will be introducing you to the word drive strength uh, for now uh, uh, br the drive strength briefly means that this particular uh, uh, this particular one the green one block is able to drive more logic compared to green one block which is sitting over here because it it is it is much more wider uh, uh, than uh, uh, than this particular block so it has got least resistance the one block which is being highlighted over here is it has it is least resistance compared to this one so this can drive even more logic compared to this one so that is that is basic, that is the basic definition of drive strength we will be covering uh, that part uh, that uh, particular thing in the timing analysis section uh, and also the, uh, the, we have got even even bigger sizes of the of the cells so this particular cell will be able to uh, drive even more logic compared to this particular uh, one because it is much wider compared to this one so uh, so we have varieties we have various flavors of uh, let's say an inverter uh, let's say this one was an inverter we have various flavors of the inverter we have this size we have this size we have this size also the other flavor is we have got different threshold voltages we have we have got uh, uh, so we have uh, low uh, we, we have got uh, so the threshold voltage Voltages we explained in the in a, uh, we some time back explained the the concept of threshold voltage and the parameters that modulate the threshold voltage. So based on those parameters, there are various cells. Physical cells built, so, phys phys physical. For example, an inverter. An inverter will be built with uh, various uh, uh, values of threshold voltage and all. So the library will have 
everything every every drill of all of that particular inverter so that is basically library means for example if you go to a, a, a in general a lab, when you go to a library you have uh, you have got a book for example you want to uh, you want to talk about a, you want to learn about a book called as let's say william shakespeare you want to talk about a book about william shakespeare so when you go to a library you will physically find find that book over there you can actually read it so that is the uh, uh, physical uh, that that it is a place where you can actually find the physical books over here so that you can, you can consider this library similar to uh, similar to that so that's what a library is so next once we uh, bind uh, it with the physical cells the next step is to place those cells so uh, uh, before before placement uh, let's see uh, let's see what we have now so we have the floor plan with us uh, uh, with all the pin locations defined and on all the pre-placed so uh, now, now i think the term pre-placed cells makes more sense so it's uh, th so those cells are the ones which are placed before placement step that's why they are called pre-placed steps uh, pre-placed cells so we have the floor plan with us we have the netlist with us and we have the uh, library we have the physical view of the of, of each and every logic gates so now what we need to do is we need to take the floor plan we need to take the uh, we need to take the netlist bind it with the uh, bind it with the library with the physical view and then place this cells onto the floor plan so that's what uh, the placement is but uh, uh, but again uh, uh, before we can't uh, uh, place the cells uh, blindly there are are some constraints that uh, that will drive the placement of the cells for example one example we can uh, we can very much uh, see that d in one should uh, the the, the flip-flop one should be placed very close to the d in one port that is one of the constraint or, or uh, there will be some timing impact so there, there are timing uh, constraints and there are physical constraints uh, uh, that will drive the placement so let's let's look into one example of them so uh, we have the uh, uh, so we have the uh, 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 floor plan with us and we have the uh, miniature view of the netlist with us we have just uh, uh, drawn a, a small view of the netlist so that at least th at least we know the connectivity information from here so <clears throat> so what we see is for the connect uh, the, uh, first let's say take take the yellow logic uh, uh, sorry take the orange logic flip flop one uh, inverter and get and the flip flop two so we know that flip flop one has to be placed close to d in one and ff2 uh, has to be placed close to d out one and the inverter and uh, the and get in the center so let's do it so we have placed uh, we have tried to place flip flop 1 and flip flop 2 close to their uh, physically close to their uh, respective uh, input output pins and and we have placed uh, uh, we will be placing one, uh, the logic 1 and 2 in the center so they are physically close to their master flip flops so this is this was this is the uh, so similar things we will be doing with the other logics also and and also uh, the if you see the block block 1 which is over here block 1 and block 2 they are pre placed so the locations of block a and block b will not be changed and similarly with block c the its location won't be changed so they are already pre placed now we will be placing the remaining cells over here so out of which the four are done we will take the now will will now take the yellow logic with us and let's see we find a place we'll place it over here now one question that might arise is why d in why ff1 we know that ff1 is uh, uh, is placed close to uh, uh, is placed close to d in 2 that is it communicates with d in 2 then why in a physical uh, uh, world uh, we are placing ff1 uh, not we are we are not placing uh, ff1 close to d in 2 so again again I say, as i said i'm taking this exam i'm taking this as an example to explain lot more concepts and i'm taking various scenarios where uh, where we will be getting into issues and we will be solving them while solving Solving those issues, we will be learning a lot more concepts. So this is a this is a very good practical example that will be happening while we while we try to implement uh, 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 while we try to implement this circuit. So one example one uh, scenario that you can think of is that this might be a very high frequency high frequency thing so we uh, let's say it runs at very high speed 1 gigahertz so we can't even afford a small wire delay at, uh, between the interface of ff1 and 1 and 2 and ff2 and ff2 to d out so we can't we can't afford that that's why we have clustered it in a small area and also there could be a constraint where ff2 the speed between ff2 and d out 2 is uh, is all again a medium medium or a very uh, or a high speed as circuit so we can't afford uh, to place ff2 very far away from do2 we have to place it close to do2 so this this might be all the constraints that um, that might lead to this uh, this uh, kind of placements this will be getting eventually uh, cleared and how do we solve the uh, how, how do we solve this problem of d2 placed very far to ff1 so this is a problem for us and we will be solving this problem so uh, what we'll do is we'll stop over here and in the uh, next video uh, we, i'll be explaining you some uh, uh, some uh, constraint uh, uh, not exactly constraint uh, uh, the ways to solve problem like this and also we'll be placing the remaining blue and the green logic also thank you